everyone. My name is Kathleen and this is Island Beaver Tales and this is our very first vlog post. You're going to be able to tell it's going to be pretty rough. I'm going to do my best but I make no promises. <laughs> anyway, I am speaking to you today literally from my backyard. I will show you the back of the house and also some of the surrounding area. One of the great things about living on Vancouver Island is that you don't have to go very far before you find some green space and it literally is all around you and it's one of the reasons why Aaron and I decided to stay in um, British Columbia. We're actually from Ontario. Um, I am from Brantford, Ontario and Aaron is from Oshawa and we actually met in forestry school. So um, interesting story behind that. Um, we both took forestry at first. Um, I did not stay longer than a year. I ended up realizing it wasn't for me as far as the schooling was. I love the outdoors, but um, I was more looking for what I do now, which is um, social work. So that's what I do now. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do today is just take you on a brief tour of um, the trail that runs beside our house um, and show you some of the views around the area. You're probably going to hear um, a helicopter that's going over right now um, but anyway I'm gonna take you for a bit of a tour you're actually going to come with me up what my daughters fondly refer to as the stairway to heaven I'm gonna flip this camera around in a few seconds to show it to you um, but it's pretty much all uphill but as a result you get some really amazing views of the ocean which is directly in front of our house so I'm gonna do that and then um, yeah, we'll go from there. So this is um, right next to our house. This is the beginning of the trail and it's going to go all the way up through here. And I'm not sure if you can see through um, the trees here, but there's a set of stairs that go all the way up. I'm going to see if I can close in there and will take us all the way up into the top of this valley. We basically live in a bit of a saddle, so we are in a little bit of a valley. Uh, we get, tend to get some morning light, but um, it gets pretty, not dark, but not a lot of sun coverage anyway. And we're gonna go away up there. We'll see you there. One thing I am gonna show you um, is the color of my face right now. Take note of this because my face is literally a barometer of how much effort it takes to get anywhere for me. I have always had an issue with my face going red. Um, and so depending on how red it gets, um, depends on how difficult the trail is. So here's a before shot. We'll see the after once we get to the top. So I'm at the top and now I'm going to be working my way down to the cul-de-sac and then down to the ocean. Uh, face isn't as red as I thought it would be, but it was some effort getting up those stairs. <laughs> I live to tell the tale. I can breathe. Another thing to know about BC is that when you think you're at the top of a hill, you're usually not. And here we are 
at the end of the walk around my neighborhood. Directly in front of me, you can see the Saanich Inlet and the landmass across the way is Salt Spring Island. Vancouver Island is such a biologically diverse place. It's about 460 kilometers in length and has a combination of old growth forests, mountains, beaches, waterfalls, and an extensive amount of trails to explore. When on the island, you are literally just a short drive away from most of these attractions at any given place. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you next time. Until then, I hope this inspires you to get up, get out, and explore your own neighborhood and natural spaces around you. They're always closer than you think. Have a great day.